What is up, YouTube? Okay. In 2009, researchers at the University College of London asked the question, how long does it take to establish a new habit? They were looking for the moment when a new behavior becomes automatic and or ingrained in a person's mind. Okay. Um, they asked students to take on exercise and diet goals for a period of time and monitor their their progress. The results suggest that it takes on average 66 days to acquire a new habit. All right. The full range was 18 to 254 days, but the 66, the 66 days represented a sweet spot with easier behaviors taking fewer days on average and tough ones taking longer. Self-help circles tend to preach that it takes 21 days to make a change, but modern science does not back that up. Okay, with that being said, this is how you level up, okay? Whether that's fitness goals, whether that's money goals, whether that's uh, improving the way you look, improving the way you act, improving your confidence, whatever it is, this video is going to tell you how to level up, okay? I specialize in leveling up. There's very, very few things that I specialize in. And one of them is self-improvement. The other one is getting your first deal, your first real estate wholesale deal. Okay. Those are two things that I work on every single day. Right. So I know a little something about something, right. I brought out the whiteboard for this one and I even got out a brand new dry erase marker. So let's go over this. Okay. I used money for this example, right? zero dollars to 10k for most of y'all watching this y'all want to make 10k a lot of people want to make 10k right that's like le basic level one 10k right it's a very um special moment when you make 10k and you hold ten thousand dollars in your hand at one time it's, it's very it's very emotional okay i've done it a few times and um i know how to get there right i know how to get to those fitness goals anything but I'm about to use this illustration right quick, all right? So let's assume that you're on level one, okay? Bob Proctor talks about this a lot. So each level, each level contains different type of attitudes, different ways of thinking, um, different uh, activities that a person does, okay? So level zero, okay, this is like a realm of reality. In other words, we'll call it a frequency, level zero frequency, zero dollars a month, broke person frequency, poor person mentality, slave mind, whatever you wanna call it. This is just level zero, okay? Let's assume that this is where you're at. You might be at level one, who knows? But we're trying to get to level 10, level 10K a month. All right, so I just wanna get this point across. Level zero is a way of life right? Whatever level you're on, it is, that is your reality. That is your way of life. That is like your reality. Your entire universe is based off of the level you're on. Okay. So the people you talk to, the people you surround yourself with, the type of girls you attract, the habits you have, the hobbies you do, um, where you go to hang out, what you do in your free time, what you look at in your free time, who do you listen to? The type of music you listen to? All of this, all of that is a result of the level you're at, okay? So level zero comes with certain behaviors. I'll, I'll use myself for an example. So my level zero was me when I first got out of jail, okay? When I was in jail, I decided to change my life around. Made the flip decision. I was like, I'm done, okay? It, that's where it starts at to make a committed decision but every day after that you have to make the decision to move towards that direction of that vision you set for yourself right so my vision that I set for myself when I uh when I first got out of jail I had this vision of myself and it was to be super productive uh no vices right or not at least not any of the vices that I had which was nicotine weed and alcohol and, and like sex and porn and uh, partying all the time, um, you know, and, and the way I talked, I just wanted to change everything about myself. I had this vision of myself, someone who wakes up early on time, like someone who wakes up 
at three or four in the morning just because that's what they do. Someone who works out every single day, someone who is fit, someone who looks good, someone who has money, someone who is respectable, someone who has integrity, someone who doesn't just go around sleeping with anybody. I had this vision of myself that I, I wanted to become. And, um, but I was still right here. This is still my reality, okay? So every person, right? Maybe some of you, you're on, you're on this reality. You're on this level playing field, this level of vibration. But maybe you see something up here that inspires you, right? You see some up on this level. You're like, you're way down here and you, but you're looking up and you're like, I wanna be that. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I wanna go there, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to, I'm gonna give you some basic principles of how to get there, okay? So, but just remember, my entire reality was right here. The way I thought, the way I spoke, what I listened to, what I watched, what I did in my free time, um, the habits I had, the hobbies I had, the people I talked to, the people I hung around, the things that interested me, the things I watched on TV, like all of that was in this level, this vibration, this frequency of level zero, okay? So to get to here, to here, to here, sometimes you could skip some levels. I mean, it's not that you skip them, but you like pass through them faster than some people would, right? How do you get here? There's a few ways to, that you could get here, right? But let's not even say here. You wanna get here. It's level 10, okay? How do we get to level 10? There's a few ways. So your reality has to, you have to study the reality of the people up here. Study, re, study the reality of people who are on level 10, people who make 10K a month. You'll find that they're no smarter than you, okay? You, you don't have to be a super genius to get up here, okay? But for me, also level 10 was someone who is disciplined and someone who works out every day. And so that was an attribute that I didn't have about myself, or at least I thought I didn't have. So what do you do? First, you gotta get to this level, then you get to this level, then you get to this level. At least I, that's how I had to do it. I had to fight through every level. Okay, so this is my frequency, right? This is my normal right here. This is my frequency vibrating at this level right here. I have to break out of my reality and at least start vibrating right here long enough to where this vibration feels normal. Okay, so what I said sounded simple, but it is very, very difficult at first, okay? Remember what I said about the 66 days. If you could do the things that a person on this level does for 66 days, it starts to feel normal. You start to vibrate on this frequency like it's normal, okay? But to do this, it is going to go against everything that you know, everything that you believe in, everything in your reality. It, it, it's going to challenge that. And I wanna put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Right? So to get to this level, it is going to challenge all of your beliefs about everything that you ever knew. And in order to do that, yes, you have to be inspired, you have to be motivated, but you have to humble yourself and understand that you don't know anything. That's, that's the main, that's, a, that's something that really holds people back. People who vibrate on this frequency, they've been vibrating on this frequency their, their whole life. This is all they know. They will fight for this frequency even though it brings them pain and suffering. This is all they know. This is how they think. This is their world. Level zero, zero dollars a month. Maybe they get their money from like, you know, crime or however they get it. Get out the mud, whatever. That's just what they know. I was there for a long time. I didn't think that it was possible to make a lot of money other than doing something illegal. I, that's just what I thought. That's just, and I, and I had to like, relax and be like it's possible right 
I saw something up here that inspired me. I saw a bunch of 18 and 20 year olds making millions of dollars. And I was like, if they could do it, I could do it. They're doing something that makes them millions of dollars and it's not illegal. I, I need to figure out what it is, right? So it gave me hope and it made me release some of the beliefs that was right here, you know, thinking that you have to like be a drug dealer or a rapper or a scammer to make a bunch of money. That's not true. So when you're going up here, it's going to be challenging because you're gonna be adopting new behaviors of this frequency, but you're also gonna be dropping the old behaviors of this frequency. And when you're on this, uh, you know, wave, of the 66 days to try to normalize this frequency, it's gonna be hard because while you're doing it, it's very unnatural. So at any moment, it's easy to fall out of it and go back to this. And that's okay, we all mess up, but you have to remember to just get back up and do your best to vibrate on here, right? You'll, you might fall down another day, it's okay. It, don't beat yourself up. The biggest thing, the biggest, uh, mistake that you could make is beating yourself up for not being somebody that you want to be overnight. I did that for a long time. It's good that you have high standards for yourself, but you cannot beat yourself up when you're on this journey to better yourself, to level up. So you might fall down. It's all right. Get back up. Sometimes you fall back down, you beat yourself up, and that causes you to stay down here for a little bit longer. You binge. Right? You binge on your bad habits that you know are bad for you. But eventually you get back out of it, it's okay. Don't give up. Get back on it. Right? So you just have to be around this level of vibration long enough to where it feels normal. It feels normal being right here. And also another thing that holds people back is they're leaving this reality, which means they're also leaving people behind in this reality. People choose to stay at level zero, like I said earlier. Like they will fight for this reality. And so they will fight to bring you back to reality, back to their reality, even though that you know this is possible. Okay? So you got, it's, it's gonna be painful because the people you love the most, you're, the, ones, the ones who are closest to you, out of love, they're gonna want you to, you know, get a nine to five. You know, what you're doing, what are you being weird? Like, you never come out anymore. You never have fun anymore. You never go on vacation with us. You're not drinking anymore, weirdo. That's what's going to happen, and that hurts emotionally. This is a, this is, this, all of this is a spiritual journey, right? The actions, you know, anybody could do it. I say a monkey could do it. A monkey could do the actions that bring him to level 10, Right? You just do the stuff long enough and it happens. But the main thing that holds people back is the emotions and the mindset. The limiting, the limiting beliefs. It's the mindset and the emotions that really dictate what level you're on. Once you get a mindset to up here, right? How, what's the easy way to do that? Start hanging out with people who are already up here. Start talking to them every day. Eventually, you're going to be like, if you're the sum of the five people you hang around the most, you hang out with five rich people, eventually you're going to be rich too. I promise you. That's just how it works. So, and it's going to feel unnatural. And it's going to be, it's going to be a lonely journey at first, right? Because in between every level, right? Let's say we're at here. We're trying to go to here. Everybody's on this one. And what you're searching for, everybody, the people you want to hang around is up here. In this little middle area, it's very lonely. It's very lonely. And it's supposed to be lonely. You hang out with anybody around in this area, you're going to be stagnant. You're most likely going to fall back down to what's most normal to you. Okay? When you're going from one level to the next level, it's a, this little area is lonely, bro. It's very, very lonely, okay? The point is though, when you're going from each level, you just need to recognize and study people who are on that level that you wanna be on 
and start imitating and emulating what they do every day. That's what I did. I was like, what do all successful people do? Okay, they wake up early. I just started waking up early, bro. And, and the thing is, you can't be so... What you don't want to do is... You're so obsessed with the results of 10K. No, bro, the goal isn't just to make 10K. The, per the goal is to become the type of person that naturally always attracts $10,000 a month, right? Because if you're down here and you just figure out a way to just hack $10,000, you're still on this level, you're gonna go back down to zero. You're naturally gonna, because this is your natural state of vibration, your natural state of being is $0 a month. So it doesn't matter. If you gave, if I walked up to you and you're on level zero and I gave you $10,000, it won't be long before it goes back to zero dollars. It won't be long before you spend it and blow it all. Okay? So the goal is not to just make $10,000. The goal is to become the type of person who always has $10,000. Always. A month. Passive or just like profit net, okay? In summary, in conclusion, what do you do to level up? You look at the people who are on the level that you wanna be at, study what they do, the lifestyle that they live, the lifestyle habits that they do. Not the little technical, oh, uh, you know, figuring out like, you know, it's not the, I'm saying don't focus on the result. Don't focus on getting the $10,000. Focus on becoming the person who always has $10,000. So when you look at people on a level above you, what do they, I always do this still. What does your daily routine look like? What, like, tell me what a day, a, just a day in the life for you, what does it look like? I always ask that for people who are above me. What does your day look like? When you, what time do you wake up? What is your morning routine? Do you have a morning routine? What does what your day look like? And um, how many books do you read? Do you read? Um, you know, what are your KPIs? Do you track your KPIs? Do you have KPIs? I ask all those things to people who are a level above me. And I hang out with them as much as I can. I talk to them as much as I can. And I provide value to them as much as I can. That way they don't think that I'm just mooching off of them and wasting their time. So study a person who is a level above you, okay? Study what they do, study their lifestyle, study their small habits that they do every day, and you do it every single day. When you're doing it every single day, it will be uncomfortable. But it takes, on average, 66 days for something to become a habit. If you could stay in here for, on average, of like 66 days, it will start to become normal to you. The trick is to open your mind, to the possibilities that you don't know everything and also be willing to cut people off who are on a level below you. It is a lonely journey every time you level up, right? You go from this level, party, everybody's here. When you go to that level, it's a lonely journey. But when you get to this level, now you're surrounded with people on this level. It's not as lonely anymore. But now you want to level up again. You level up again on the way there. It's very lonely. But when you get here, now it's not lonely anymore. You have a bunch of people who are on this level. Think this way. They vibrate on this frequency. You know, they get, let's say this level is 5K a month. These people just always somehow figure out a way to get $5,000 a month net. It's just what they do. It's just, it just is their reality. And that's gonna how it's going to be for you. Now you want to figure out how to get $7,500 a month. It's a loan. You're going to have to leave these 5K people right? And be on a lonely journey again. But when you make it here, now you're going to attract a bunch of people. It's not lonely anymore. Now you're attracting a bunch of people who make $7,500 a month. Then you're going to level up again to 10K. On the way to get 10K, it's going to be very lonely and you have to drop everyone who is at 75. You have to drop all of them. Leave them. If they're not going with you, if they're not motivating you to be better, leave them. It, it sucks. It hurts. It's emotional. It's painful. But that's, that's just what it is. When you're leveling up and changing your vibration, changing your frequency, changing your reality, changing your mindset, you have to leave everybody who is contradictory to that. You have to. Sometimes it takes a long, it takes a while. That's just what it is. 
but eventually if you don't cut off all of the ties to the level below you, eventually it will drag you back down there. Okay? That's it. That's how to level up. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment your thoughts, uh, make sure to subscribe. I'm dropping weekly videos about self-improvement, wholesaling, real estate, and just life in general. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Stay motivated.